Today, I'm going to show you the boat that I have built by welding steel plates together. I built it up in the mountain in my cabin, and it took me gigantic effort to bring it down here. I almost used a helicopter. Let's take a circumferential look. It is a sailboat. The mast is not mounted yet. It has 10,000 pounds of displacement. The draft is 5 feet and the keel contains 3,000 pounds of molten lead. When the mast will be mounted, it will have a sail area of uh, 2,000 square feet. This boat, when the sails are completed, will have a cutter rig with a, a jib sail, a main sail, and a, and a stay sail in the middle. With a sail like that, depending only on the wind and the Yanmar diesel of 20 horsepower, it can go virtually around the world. The boat name is Veltina. It's composed of three words. Vela, which means in Spanish, sail. Tierra, which means uh, the earth. It can go around the earth. And na and andar, which means explorer, exploring the, the world. Uh, let's look at the cockpit. It's a self self bailing cockpit, which means when the big waves smash on it, the water goes right down through the drains. Inside we have a beaver with enough room for a night accom accommodation and a living area where people can relax. These are the port lights. They're not mounted yet. In the back area, you can see the aft cabin with space for the galley. And on the starboard side, another uh, aft uh, area. It can be for the head or uh, whatever you call it. Two cabins on the aft, enough room. As we said, it's 30 foot long. A corner for the aft cabin for the shower. And off below, lights for the... It has to be painted. Now let's go up and see the deck itself. This is the, where the mast goes a step. This is the forecastle with a chain locker when you put the anchor. Uh, ch ch chain locker. Sun is the the cleats for mooring in the marina and the deck looking from the starboard. Le voyageur, un bateau de haute croisière. We'll see you in our next exploring voyage, where I'll be reporting to you from the South Sea of the Pacific. Adios.